yesterday I ran into him on the street. And I always, like, get birthdays and stuff of, like, the day of the show. So yesterday I had my little stats, and I, I actually, you know, like, when you see someone, you think you know them, but, like, you don't realize it's someone famous. Like, yeah, yeah. And you, like, so we <laughs> both, like, looked at each other, and he looked at me, and I, I was, and then I did a double take, and, like, he, we looked like we knew, and then I'm like, oh, no, that's who that is. So I didn't, then I turn around again, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I know his birthday's tomorrow. Mm. So I said, do you do gigs with Frankie Wood? Because I know he does. I didn't want to say anything. And he said, yeah, I do. You know Frankie? I'm like, yeah, I do. I, 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 and I'm a huge fan of yours. And isn't it your birthday tomorrow? He's like, it's not my birthday tomorrow. My birthday's March 26th. And I'm thinking like, oh, no, he's going to think I'm a stalker or something. You know? Anyhow, he was really nice. And um, you just got me thinking. Uh, I just forgot that I had that. You said family, and you're from Jersey and The Sopranos, yes. you know. Yes, absolutely, the family. And then I saw little Steven last night. It was like a Soprano day. Talk, I mean, family, family, family. So what about your family? You have a new family member. Yes, I do. Jesse Collin, 15 months old. Jesse Collin, He's young. He's so beautiful. He's a little, yeah. little bugger. Oh, <laughs> when's his birthday? Um, October 29th. Oh, a so little pumpkin. A, another Scorpio. Okay. Wow. Well, just for that, Billy, my love, we do have a little segment on the show. And uh, this little, it's about skeletons in the closet. Yeah, let's hear a little skeleton from the closet of Billy. Oh, what kind of skeleton? I I got... Pick a favorite. <laughs> you have a favorite skeleton? I, I, I know you've got a few. Uh, not really. No skeletons. Every, everything's pretty well known about All right. Well, me. tell a well-known little ditty of trouble. Oh, oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. Long time ago, back in uh, the high school days, there was a girl who I used to have sex with. No, I can't tell you that story. My <laughs> wife might be watching. No, actually, I can't tell you any stories. Uh, my children might be watching. Oh, he's not going to know what you're talking about, Jesse. Co- oh, you have other children. Yeah, I have a 19-year-old. Okay. But anyway. But don't incriminate yourself, then. Just say something, you know. Oh, my God, Bob, what do I say? He could incriminate Bob. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was attacked by a girl in a wheelchair. When was this? Oh, I was playing a gig one night, and this girl was loaded on vodka, and she just kept coming up and slapping me in the legs, and she's in a wheelchair. And I was just like, you know, putting up with this girl for hours, right? And uh, finally, you know, I'm sitting at the bar, and she came up, and she slapped me right in the balls. And I'm like, that's it. I put my drink down, and I started tearing into her. Listen, you know, you in the wheelchair, just because you're in a wheelchair doesn't mean I'm not going to tear you a new asshole. And I told her. And then she got, well, she blew up. She started hitting all the people in the bar. Oh she God. freaked out. And as they were wheeling her out, I told her not to let the door hit her in the feet because, you know, they had to wheel her out backwards. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you in the feet. But then from that day on, I was the guy that attacked the girl in the wheelchair. Uh, where was <laughs> this? Uh, I was in a place called the Crackside in uh, <laughs> Butler, New Jersey. Uh, but? Crackside? Butler. I mean, yeah. this was like a lot of. Whatever. Well, wow. yeah, absolutely. But anyway, that works. That works. And for that, for that, you can have a little treat. Um, most of our treats are missing, but <laughs> um, let's see what we can find for you. We have um, little red hearts, and we have oh, a butterscotch. Would you like that? Absolutely. Thank Would you, you like some red hearts too? I'll take hearts. Yeah, thank we you. like spreading the love and ruin who here. And um, so, what's your website? How do people find your music? Uh, my music is uh, is findable on MySpace. Uh, www.myspace.com slash Billy McGee Rocks. Or Spell it because I even spelled your name wrong. Um, B-I-L-L-Y-M-A-G-E-E. Rocks. And uh, you can reach me at Billy McGee at SickMindsInc.com. S-I-C-K-M-I-N-D-S I-N-C. I know, it's com. so annoying, but like you have to do it. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. You know, in this day and age of like type, 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 type. I read today somewhere that somebody says, is Twitter ruining the music industry. Now, how in the world would Twitter be ruining the music industry? What does Twitter have to do with it? I don't even get it. The music industry is so different from when it was when when I was younger. It is what it is what it is, it right? Is it's it is evolving what it is. How into can Twitter ruin I don't get it. <laughs> I know. I, I was like, what? Now they I mean, Twitter might be ruining like 
something, but I don't see how it has anything to do with I music. I don't tweet, so. Right. I'm not a, I mean, I'm it's not a I just think mm. it creates ADD and it, it creates X amount of letters in, in people's attention because you're only allowed to put. Do you know how many words it is in Twitter? 140, 140 characters. letters. So, 140? Oh, that's so figures. My daughter Eva was born at 140. You know, she <laughs> always has to pop in my mind. Yay. Eva, see, I think about you only every second. 140 in Twitter. Doesn't it figure? One. Now, I'll always remember that one. Exactly. I mean, so, like, you know, we're, we're being programmed to think in 140 characters. I mean, I don't get it. I'm a 160 character guy. Is that what you are? Absolutely. Is that is that about your size? That's pretty much it. Where I, where I rock them. 160. And is there <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> are there any other shout outs? Any things you want to say? I just want to say Alan, hi to everybody whatever. tuned in for me tonight. Thanks and, uh, for coming. I wanted to say, Alan. Speaking of Alan, before Alan is one of the most prolific artists I've ever met in my life. Um, he's just an amazing man. You know, talent, talent, talent. I actually have an Alan Rand hanging on my bedroom wall, and I want to thank him for inviting me on the show. I want to thank you for inviting me on the show. We wanna thank I want to thank you for coming. I want to say hello to my family and friends. <laughs> How are you? Uh, thank you. Thank you. So does Jesse Col Collin know the Alan Rand hanging on your wall? Uh, Jesse Collin has another Alan Rand hanging on his wall. I actually have two Alan Rands <laughs> dropping my treats. That's okay. And uh, one Alan did uh, in the 70s, I believe, yeah. and uh, he gave that to me. And he gave Pamela one for her birthday, and that one's hanging in Jesse's room because it's very colorful, mm. and the baby loves colors. So. Oh, and then you have the portrait. Oh, yeah, I, f I have a portrait of myself. Alan's great. He's great. <laughs> Fixes me up. My walls are <laughs> full of Alan <laughs> Ram. Uh -huh. We're going to have to make Alan Ram wallpaper. Absolutely. Exactly. So thank you, Billy. Thank Billy, you, Billy. Ro. Thank you so much. We will be right back again March 3rd, Ruin Hill.